All right, guys, we're back. Maybe look at this little beautiful little girl. She is actually the brother of Cooper, my puppy, the male. They came from the same litter. Me and Pat, who you saw early in the video, we both got a puppy. And JJ is a cute little female. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at her, just absolute beauty. Cooper's back at home in Isla Mirada. Hey. Cooper's back home in Isla Mirada, but Pat lives up here, and this is the first time I've seen JJ in quite some time, and she is absolutely a doll. But listen, hey, let's go ahead and let JJ go. These things are mostly head and bone. That's why we only kept the bigger ones today. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I just go ahead and cut up one side here. All I'm gonna do is go from behind the shoulder, right down, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rib cage, and right to the butthole. Flip that fish around. Now you got the top end pointing towards you. I'm gonna go ahead and come in right there. Keep the fish flat, keep your knife flat. I barely got just a little bit of tip in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and work down the edge of the spine. Once you reach the tail, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the knife around, find the backbone, and work my way back towards the head with that tip along the backbone. All right, now the top part of that fish is pretty much ready to rock. I'm gonna go ahead and come in halfway down that fish, find the backbone, go up and then go down and then come through. And now you can see my knife pointing through here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish that fish off all the way, but I'm gonna leave just a little bit on right there Turn your knife the other way, come back. And go ahead and finish that fish off. These fish are bony, there's no doubt about it. A little bit of chopping, look at that. Not a lot, no meat hanging left on those bones right there. And I still got the skin attached to the main portion of the fish. So now you have a filet. I mean, there is literally that's it, that's all you got left on there. I mean, there's nothing on there. And you still got attached, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 180. Get myself a good angle, the skin's still attached. And I'm gonna use that advantage of the skin still attached to go ahead and slide my knife down. Keep that knife horizontal with the table. Come all the way down. Look at that, nice filet. Cleaned it off the meat, just like that. Just like that, the one side's done. Now that we got that fillet done, I'm gonna go ahead and come out. You got a lot of rib cage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down and just get rid of that top fillet all the way down, almost like you would cut a mahi right along the bloodline. Look at that. Top fillet done. Not a zero bone in that, and that is absolute beautiful meat. We'll add it to the pile. And now, there's not a lot of meat on these things. Like we said, they're mostly head and bone. I'm gonna come in behind the rib cage and grab that little chunk right there behind the rib cage. The rest of that, guys, I mean, you're talking bone. Now, a lot of times you can salvage the meat over the rib cage. Guys, there is <laughs> no meat over that rib cage. These things are skin and bone. So you got the rib cage, the pin bones, the bloodline, everything in it. You're just salvaging the top fillet. Now I'm done with that one side. I'm just gonna do the other side just to uh, do it again. Got the one side nice and done. Same thing on the other side. Come in behind the head, find that shoulder blade, go with a that that go with that diagonal cut, right down, cut through his rib cage. This is not the ethical fish. To, this is not the typical fish to cut. I mean, things a lot of bone. Hit that spine. Go all the way down the edge just with the tip. Once you hit that tail, go ahead and flip your knife around and you're gonna come all the way back with that tip rubbing along that backbone. Now with that tip rubbing along that backbone, look at that. Same thing as the other side, nice and clean. Oh, let's take a little cameo for a minute. Look at this, cut a little bit off. Hey JJ, you want some meat? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, you like that fish, don't you? Yeah, she's just like her other, she's just like her brother. She loves the fish. Isn't that right? Only so much fish, she hasn't had too much. 
We don't need her pooping everywhere. So we got that top part done. Same thing as the other side, come in halfway, shove it all the way through, clean it off, leave a little bit of skin still attached so I can shove my hand all the way through that, come back, Come back, cut through that rib cage. Look at that. That part, the rib cage, is extremely tough to get through. Most fish, you can go so easily right over the rib cage, salvage the meat. <laughs> These things are bony, let me tell you. But look at that. I mean, you're talking, just by doing it that way, you're talking not no meat left on the bone. We got the rib cage out. The fish, the fillet is still attached to the fish. And now I'm gonna use that advantage to come down the edge of the skin in between that and the fillet. And take the rest of it off, just like that. Look at that. So now we got a beautiful fillet. No meat on that bone. I mean, look at that, guys. <laughs> there ain't no meat on it. Now listen, Jamaican Mike would throw this in the soup stew and he'd get everything out of it. But for what we're doing, we've used everything we can out of this fish. Skin still attached, you say goodbye. We got ourselves a beautiful filet and the most, and the best part of the meat is gonna be that top section. I'm gonna come from the top, go right along that bloodline, stay above the bones, the pin bones, the bloodline, everything come all the way through. It's a clean cut, no interruptions. And now we got that top tenderloin, just absolutely beautiful. No bones, it's ready to go in the pile. That bottom section, I mean, you're talking bone with no meat over it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and salvage that little back end right here. It's not much. Like I said, that's why we were out there only keeping the bigger ones. Even though they're legal, you're not gonna yield a lot of meat on them. That's why we were letting them go today. I got that little bit of a bottom tenderloin. That is all pin bones, bloodline, and rib cage. One for the catfish. Now that we got our nice pile of fish, all the fish cut up, I think we'll see you guys back in the kitchen. Let's go cook some sheep's head. Beautiful home of Pat Jackson. We're over here in Palm Beach still. We just got done catching sheep's head. I found a saw, look at that, right in cabinets. All right, so we got a little bit of a pot right here, biggest pot that PJ had. We got it on a hot flame right now, halfway filled up with water. What we're gonna do is get this boiling, but to help it and lower its boiling temperature, let's go ahead, woo, that's a lot of salt. And then we're also gonna add some Old Bay to it here. What we're gonna do is add some Old Bay, add some salt. Ooh, let's not open that big old guy. Here we go, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Old Bay it up, salt it up. The salt will help lower its boiling temperature. Uh, Go, just give it a little stir right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get that boiling. I've also got a pan here and we're gonna get that. I'm gonna go ahead and just fire that up. I'm not gonna get it hot. I'm just gonna get the flame going, just get that oil at that point where if I wanna get it kicking, I can get it kicking. Simmer burner, quick boil. Mm. Oh. Oop. And then we're gonna turn it down real, real low. And now all that's gonna do is get the pan hot, that way when I wanna fire her up, I can fire her up. But this thing's already firing. Like I said, it's just a pot with water, Old Bay and salt. That way we're just gonna get that boiling and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put those sheep's head fillets in there. It should take about two to three minutes. Once it's boiling, we're gonna get a rolling boil, add the, add the fillets, let them sit two to three minutes. After that, we're gonna throw them in the bowl, mush them up while I'm cooking some more fillets. Once we get it all mushed up, we're gonna go ahead and make some patties. Nice little uh, sheep's head patties. And then we're gonna do a bunch of little breadcrumbs, maybe some egg wash if we get frisky. Bam, right on the oil. And we're making zebra cakes in the kitchen, come on. And all we're gonna do here is just take our fillets. We got our beautiful sheep's head fillets from all those fish that the girls caught and I did not. And we're just gonna add them in here into the pot of boiling water. Super simple, just add them all in here. I only filled up the pot about halfway. Got it boiling just so we could add a whole bunch of fillets. We got a big bag of fish. Nice, beautiful fillets. Just doing a little last checker here, if you know what I mean. Right, See? So we, this, these, these fish fillets, we've had them in there. Sheep said they've been in there for a good little while. These fish 
These fillets are cooked. What we're gonna go ahead and do, I got myself a little spoon with some drain holes and we're gonna go ahead and just throw all these fillets nicely into that bowl, try to keep them intact. They look beautifully cooked, a little Old Bay season in the pot to keep it fire. I hear a little bit of commotion outside. Sounds like uh, Tom T might be back with his beautiful girlfriend, Jess. They'll be coming over for dinner as well. Still got the rest of the crew in the background just chatting it up. Ryan's over here just observing, helping me. He's my little birdie in my ear. He, he always has been that little birdie yeah. in my ear. Like of all the whoa, 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 we're filming, we're filming. Hot, hot. All right, all right, all the flays are out. All right, so Ryan's gonna go ahead. Ryan, Ryan. Heidi J is covered up. I don't know, there's a lot of action over there, Charles. I know, that's probably a better view than what you're looking over here. All right, all these flays are out. Ryan's adding more flays. I got all the flays we just cooked. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and mash them up here. Mash, mash, mash. Mash, maybe, mash. Now there's probably a better utensil on the market than this to mash them up, but we're gonna go ahead and just use this little rubbery little spatula and do the best work we can do. Look at that. So we're mild. We got it all chopped up. The fish that first batch is in the bowl. We mixed it all up. Ryan says go ahead and unload this. I don't know what it is. We're just gonna go ahead and throw it in. A little bit of flavor town. And then we got some kinders. I'm just working with what Pat Jackson's got in his spice cabinet. Ryan pulled out a few goodies. That looks like a lot. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and mix that in. If you notice, I got that fish that we boiled nice and grounded down. And like I said, we're making it in the zebra cakes. Mix that all together. And then we're gonna let it sit. Ryan's still got this pot boiling. Once that's done, we're gonna add it into that, add it all together, keep on mixing it, and then we'll get to the frying portion. Okay. All right, all we're gonna do all here is work. grab some, go, go ahead and grab yourself a handful of sheep's head, oh. smash it down into a patty, get that consistency going on, squeeze that juice out. There we go, we got a nice little bit of shape, a little bit of form, as some would say it. A little bit of egg wash on it. Oh yeah, look at that. It is, oh, oh, we're losing it here, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and just, it's gonna be a messy job today, people. Go ahead and just bury that in some breadcrumbs. Mash it down, add it with all the rest of the good stuff. And there we go. We got ourselves a beautiful sheep's head zebra cake. Add that to the rest of them. Trust me, they're going to be good. I can promise you that. And then we're going to go right back at it again. It's going to be a process. All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep making patties. And we're going to put them in the fryer. And we'll in here, and we'll show you when we're laying them in that hot grease. So we, we cooked the fish already. You guys saw us boil it. We don't really need to cook it, per se, on the oil. It's just really crisping the breadcrumbs, making it look good, tightening that patty up. You just pop it on for another four minutes, two minutes each side. Do a little flip on the oil. Take it off. There's one that's kind of falling apart. Charles is getting creative with how he was making patties. He wasn't trusting the expert. You gotta, I, you gotta I've cook it all the way cakes. through because because you got zebra cakes for a while. You got the egg wash in there, so you gotta cook it all the way through, right? That's a proper patty right there. It's not falling apart. That's a small one, probably give it to one of the girls. Put on that hot oil. Ready to go. Now that's a snowball. I don't know uh, who's gonna eat that, probably Eddie. Eddie could probably have three of those. That's the guy behind the camera right now. I'll confirm that down a little bit. Make it a little flatter. So those breadcrumbs crisp nice and evenly. How good it is. We got some okay. sheep's heads. Right that's that's crispy. That's crunchy. Look at that. Wow. Nice consistency okay. right there. No, what? I mean, you're talking. No. That looks good right there. Let's try a little taste. Way too bad. If you wait 90 seconds, you're gonna have some rice. That's good. That's real good. All right, come on, Jess. Let's see what. Try a little flavor time. Whose plate is that? Tell me what. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. 
All right. Actually, I do need a drink. Come on. That ain't mine. It ain't mine. It's Jackson. It comes from Jeffrey Dubs. Ryan was a big help from it. It's actually really, really good. I'm still in. We're going to go ahead and have some dinner. That is some good stuff right there. Thank you guys for watching. It's time to eat. Ryan. We're, got, we're done here, guys. Thank you for watching. It's been a All long right. day. We're shutting her down. We're eating dinner. We're going to enjoy some time, a little quiet time. Yep. Real quiet. Going to stay real calm tonight. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. We have smirk on his face. He's full of crap. We're going out. Yep. Bye, guys.